he said that he doesn't feel that there's been a sense of urgency to figure out some of the problems you guys have been dealing with. Do you feel that too? Yeah. Um, Definitely got to find a sense of urgency is not there and uh, it's showing in the results. What needs to happen to, to find it, I guess? Um, I don't know. Uh, just got to chip away at the things we need to chip away at. We know the things that we need to correct. We just got to go out there and do them. They had 38 free throws tonight. I know fouling has been an issue for you guys. Jordan. I mean, this is Jordan's first time going from playoffs to regular season. He mentioned the difference of physicality and, and having to almost readjust the regular season basketball. Is that something? I mean, it's definitely different. Um, you know, when you're playing, uh, you know, when you're playing um, playoff basketball, you it's not necessarily that you get away with more. Um, they just call it differently. And so uh, the regular season, you know, they call it a lot tighter, especially at, at the beginning of the year. And so I think we're seeing a bunch of that. Um, but in saying that, uh, we still have to, you know, we got to make the adjustment and, and be better at the things we know we need to be better at. You guys, maybe more than ever, have, like, guys who want to get their own, like, almost everywhere on the roster, you know, especially the young guys coming up. Um, Steve seemed to shot selection was maybe an issue tonight or has been what are you seeing offensively right now i think our uh our offense is killing our defense and um you know whether it's floor balance uh whether the ball doesn't move and you know guys get stagnant um it's, it's, the two ends aren't connecting and in order to be a great team those two ends have to connect We've all seen good offensive teams, great offensive teams with, that don't play defense and they usually go home. Um, so uh, <clears throat> we got to connect those two ends of the floor. And right now, we're not doing that. You know, Greg, we keep hearing that, you know, correcting these issues will take time. But what are things that can be done in practice next time you guys are on the practice court to you know, take another step forward in correcting those issues? Oh, uh, well, I think it's number one, identifying the exact issues that we want to correct. The reality is, is you can't correct every issue. Um, it's impossible. There's too many issues on any team uh, to, to try to correct every issue. But what you what you try to do is you try to correct the things you see more of. You know, so if we see a bunch of this, then you want to kind of figure that out. If you see a bunch of that, you, you want to figure that one out. And so... I think for us, it's pinpointing the things that are really hurting us. You know, some things that's hurting us, they won't beat you, you know. Um, and so you don't worry as much about those. But the things that are hurting us, that's beating us, we, you know, we need to pinpoint exactly what that is. And, um, and once we can pinpoint exactly what those things are, then we can go in and figure it out and what we need to do. So you're still in that figuring out process. I guess. Oh, we're definitely there. Um, <clears throat> we're definitely, it's a different team. Yeah. And so, you know, still got to figure some stuff out, but we will. What particularly, I mean, we know obviously the youth, but what is FaceTime? <laughs> That's okay. I'll call you back. <laughs> um, what's kind of is different about this team? I assume it's kind of the youth that, that you guys are trying to plug in. Uh, I mean, we're definitely young, um, and you're playing a lot of youth. And usually, when you play youth, there's no continuity. And so, I think the continuity is missing. The reality is, it's missing on both ends. Um, you know, the continuity in the offense is missing. Um, the continuity on the defensive side or rotations or um, principles they're missing. And that <clears throat> that is an issue uh, quite often when you play younger guys and saying that it's not their fault. Um, it's also not solely their fault that we're not playing well defensively or offensively either. Um, I think, you know, when you are playing younger guys, that definitely – makes it tougher to execute on both ends of the floor, but by no means is it the young guy's fault. Um, they they have a part in it, just like we all have a part in it. And so 
like I said, we have to we have to figure uh, those things out. But it's it's not solely their fault, um, and, and trying to work them in. Uh, you know, that, that definitely does change things. But we can't blame it all on them. Uh, we gotta we gotta all figure it out because. Quite frankly, I don't think any of us are playing that great on both sides of the ball. You know, some guys are playing great defensively, maybe not as great offensively. Some guys are playing great offensively and not as great defensively. So we got to get more guys putting both of them together, including myself. Hey, Draymond, how are you? I'm good, Larry. How are you? I'm good. Um, Go green, Larry. <laughs> what uh, What's your impressions of the latest rebuilding effort by the Pistons and the young guys? and? Bogdanovich that they added? I think they're playing well. They've been playing well. Bogdanovich has been incredible for them. Cade is taking that next step. Uh, Jay and Ivy is fast as hell. Um, you can tell Isaiah's working. Uh, you know, Sadiq, they're all putting it together. And it's great to see, um, you know, coming from Saginaw, Michigan, obviously coming from the state. I always want to see the Pistons do well. So um, to see these young guys starting to put it together, and they're two and five, and they've been in uh, quite a few of those games, you know, and maybe lost control in the last five or six minutes of a couple games. But you, you usually see that with young teams. But, uh, you know, they're starting to put the pieces together. And, you know, um, it's good to see it all starting to unfold for them. But, Still got a little ways to go, but I have no doubts that they'll get there and they got youth on their side, which means they have time to do it.